Hi guys, it's Rail Klein and this is my thank you supernatural video. I wanted to wear, I had this like Dean Winchester, like the many faces Dean Winchester shirt. I wanted to wear it. I can't find it. I also have a supernatural sweater. Well, it's technically not supernatural. It's like from Jared's um, Always Keep Fighting campaign that says love on it. But I want to wear it, but I can't find it either because I think I left them at school. So all I have is these like Demon Dean pants. Can you see it? I don't know. So I'm wearing that because that's my only supernatural thing I have with me. So today is the finale, the series finale. It is November 19th, 2020. And it's going to be hard for me to put out emotions. Um, I discovered, well, I didn't discover, but I started watching Supernatural in March of 2016 when I was still 15. Um, I was turning 16 later that year, but I was still 15. Um, and I've seen it before because um, I watched some other CW shows. Like, I remember this one time I was watching The Vampire Diaries and then there was like a promo for Supernatural and a commercial and I was like, what devil shit is this? <laughs> So I thought it was like such a devil show, um, but I kept seeing it on Vine and stuff and originally I thought like, I mean obviously I didn't know back then, but I thought like Misha's character was also another brother, like I thought he was like the older brother and so I was like confused why people were shipping him with Dean. <laughs> anyway, finally, I'm pretty sure it was March 2016. Maybe it was in the February, but I'm pretty sure it's March. I decided to try it. And I gotta say, like, it was not what I expected. Like, the pilot, I think, is, like, one of the best episodes ever of Supernatural. And it was just really amazing. Um, before watching Supernatural, I was kind of someone who was a little bit of scared of horror. So, definitely the first two seasons I had to watch, like, in daytime, daytime a little bit too scary but um it did it was a little bit of a slow start not gonna lie um but once I kind of reached season three then it like hit the road running and season three to season five were my favorite seasons um my favorite episode is season five episode four the end um it's my favorite episode I thought that French Mistake might be my favorite episode or the 200th episode um but those, those are top episodes, but not my favorite. I think fa my favorite is the end. But I have, like, read a lot of articles on the best episodes of Supernatural, and all of them have the season 5 finale as being the best um, swan song. And I, even though the end is my favorite episode, I can say for sure season 5 finale is the best episode of Supernatural ever. So the best and favorite's not the same thing. Um, but it's it probably is the greatest episode of Supernatural ever. Um unless the series finale is the greatest episode of Supernatural ever. Who knows? Uh the season 14 finale I thought was so amazing. Such a good finale. Uh so you never know the series finale, and I honestly don't know what to expect tonight. Like last week, like it ended really weirdly. Like it ended like a finale, even though you wanted more, but there was like a montage scene and they were running, driving onto the sunset. So anyway, but this is not about me talking about Supernatural. This is me talking about thanking Supernatural. So I want to thank Supernatural because Supernatural has helped me through a lot of hard times um, with financial losses, losing my house, uh, deep depression. Um, I remember one time I was in a depression episode that was so bad that like my whole body was shaking. I was literally shaking with depression or anxiety. I don't know, but my body was shaking. And I watched, um, the San Diego Comic Con. I think this was like in summer 2016. I was watching the San Diego Comic Con, um, that they did, the panel, and it like stop my body from shaking so I feel like sincerely I would not be alive today if it wasn't for supernatural 
and I'm just getting emotional because the show means so much to me. It, it's hard to describe. It's like in a way losing a friend. And this show just means everything to me and you know people, a lot of my friends and just I guess people in society just see me as a crazed fan but people don't understand Supernatural because they never tried it. You know people are just so judgmental in Supernatural fans but like you never even watched the episode how would you know? Because it's, it's a really amazing show and it's so powerful. And as a filmmaker, or someone who studies film and helping to go into the industry, um, the reason that it has like every genre, I would, it has action, it has horror, it has comedy, it has romance, and the acting and the writing is just so amazing too. So I want to thank Robert Singer, Andrew Yab, Jensen Ackles, Jared Palagi, Misha Collins. Um, Alex, um, you know, Ruth, all the women on the show too, um, um, the Marks, <laughs> um, um, Jim Beaver, um, Samantha Smith, you know, everyone. I just want to thank everyone for the show because, you know, it, thank you guys and, you know, it's always my dream to come to the Supernatural set. Um, my mom has a connection to someone who knows Robert Singer. So for my graduation present from high school, he like sent over the season 13 finale script and he had a note like, if ever and you're in Vancouver, you know, come on set. And you know, that was crying. I was crying so hard from that video. Not, I mean, there's a video of me crying so hard, but from the present, I was crying so hard. And you know, it was always kind of my dream to then come to that, but just things didn't work out. And so now that that dream can't come true, you know, I'd still dream of mine to maybe meet Jared and Cinemisha, maybe even touch them, Paula. I don't know, it's a dream. But yeah, it, this is hard. I've been emotional the last few days and like, I think it's gonna hit me. I think this COVID pandemic not having the show for a few months maybe helped it this a little bit because I got used to not seeing this for show. But it's definitely gonna hit me. Cause it's like something that's ending. And like I know Supernatural will never end, but like it is ending. I just want to be the supernatural for everything because I wouldn't be alive without supernatural. <laughs> and when I didn't have a home, <laughs> you guys are my home. for everything. I don't know what else to say. You know, this show so much. <laughs> so I just really want a good ending. Because <laughs> Supernatural's my best friend. <laughs> So I'm going to finish this video and cry more. <sighs> but thank you guys. Thank you Supernatural cast and crew for everything. And I know you're probably more emotional than me. Because you been doing this for 15 years, but I've only known Supernatural five and a half years. 
Um, but you will always be my favorite show. And you will always be in my heart. And I will always go back and rewatch episodes. And I will always quote Supernatural. And Dean Winchester will always be my favorite fictional character of all time. Unless something happens and something changes, but I doubt that. And the Winchesters will literally be the best. And I plan on the first time I adopt a dog, I plan on naming my dog Winchester. So there you go. Okay, I don't want to cry anymore, so thank you Supernatural for everything.